Hey, everybody. Um, hey, Michael. I'm reading a letter from Australia to your, to your kids. Dearest Reverie and Jackson, your mother was my friend, one of the closest I had in New York City. A friend is a very precious thing in such a vast, chaotic place. They are the still points in a turning world. We did not see each other very often because, at the time of writing this, I wasn't able to spend as much time living in New York as I'd have liked. Still, that meant that when we were together, somehow, your mom and dad and I managed to squeeze into that short time span more life than usual and wring more hours and more friendship out of every fleeting moment. Of all the things I loved about Michael, her courage, candor, honesty, intellectual and spiritual rigor, kindness, fierceness, humor, talent, drive, and vivacity. There is one thing that stands out above all others, how much she wanted to be a mom to the two of you. On a visit to my farm in Australia long before she was pregnant with you two twins, she remarked how one day she wanted to bring you back to visit there, and we all agreed, sharing her beautiful vision for the future. She so devoutly hoped you would eventually come into this world, and miraculously, you are here. Make this life a magical one, and know that you are loved by me, your mysterious fairy godmother, Felicity. Felicity also wanted me to read this. This is from The Prophet by Khalil Gibran. You would know the secret of death. But how shall you find it unless you seek it in the heart of life? The owl whose night-bound eyes are blind unto the day cannot unveil the mystery of light. If you would indeed behold the spirit of death, open your heart wide unto the body of life. For life and death are one, even as the river and the sea are one. In the depth of your hopes and desires lies your silent knowledge of the beyond. And like seeds dreaming beneath the snow, your heart dreams of spring. Trust the dreams, for in them is hidden the gate to eternity. For what is it to die but to stand naked in the wind and to melt into the sun? And what is it to cease breathing but to free the breath from its restless tides that it may rise and expand and seek God unencumbered. Only when you drink from the river of silence shall you indeed sing. And when you have reached the mountaintop, then you shall begin to climb. And when the earth shall claim your limbs, then shall you truly dance. Thanks.